Oh, we are two going top the middle. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to BXR, and in order to do that, I've made this sweet image. Should hopefully help to better your understanding of the process and timing involved. So you see down the bottom here, we've got time. Uh, it goes to half a second. Input here, so BXR, that's merely reload or cancel. Cancel an animation, cancel an effect. Uh, and then R is to do damage, like fire your gun. Animation, so we've got melee swing and then fire, obviously. Uh, the effect is what we're after. So when you press B, you start lunging, then you do the melee damage. When you press X, you cancel the cooldown that usually happens in the melee. So I'm talking about the melee cooldown. So usually you'd go lunge, your melee would connect, and then your gun would reset, which takes a bit of time. What we're going to do is cut that off with the X. So cancelling melee cooldown, that's the effect that happens, and you want to hit R straight after that. That'll start the BR damage, and you'll notice the time here, that's about, what, 0.27 of a second to 0.3. It's extremely small time, so that's why it counts as kind of like an instant kill. And what you can do is you can actually go B and then hold R down, then hit X at the right time, and then that'll cause this to come out straight away, which can be a little bit faster between the X and R, and it also, if you're off post, causes you to do the reload glitch, the instant reload glitch, which is very handy as well. That's a bit harder to do because it kind of requires a bit more thinking, so if you're just starting off, just stick with the normal BXR. And what we'll do now is I'll show you it in real time. So it all happens very quickly. Uh, if we're going to watch it in slow motion, we'll see the B hits. I'm lunging, melee connects. Doesn't show up very clearly because I'm off host, but his his uh, shield's been removed. First bullet comes out, second bullet comes out, and he's dead already after the second bullet. And that's because I did a momentum based melee. So I jumped up and I ran forward towards him, took off more of his shield, allowing me to kill him with only two bullets as opposed to the standard three bullets. If you're standing still or if someone's lunged towards you and push you backwards, it will require all three bullets, making it a bit slower. So in a competitive match, you want to do it as fast as possible. You need to get that edge, you know, you need to pull it off faster than the other person. So running forward and making sure that you're pushing forward when you do it, and make sure you do it faster. Or if you can, like if you're coming through a doorway or going around a corner, or if you pull off a falling melee somehow, which can be hard to do, but it pulls off more of their shield. I think it depletes their entire shield actually, allowing the first bullet to kill them. So that's literally instant kill. Common mistakes is cancelling too soon. So if I was here and I pressed X, then the melee damage wouldn't connect, causing you to lunge and do nothing and then just fire at them. Uh, this usually gets you killed because you've lunged and haven't done any damage. They usually lunge as well, take your shield off, game over. If you want to practice the timing, which is the hard part, so getting this XR straight after the melee damage, that's, that's where the skill lies. That's where people will ask the questions, how do you do a BXR? They're asking how do you get the timing right in order to do a BXR effectively. If you want to practice it, you can just practice against the wall, just BXR on a wall, BXR on a wall, BXR on a wall. You can hear the melee crack on the wall if the damage is done. If you don't hear it, if you don't hear the smack on the wall, it means you've cancelled the damage. So yeah, just jump into a game by yourself, practice hitting that. If you enjoyed the information in this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll be doing more videos like this coming up towards the Master Chief Collection release. In my next video, I'll be going over how to do a BXR without a full clip. Stay tuned for that.